Hello everyone, welcome back on the series on DSP processor. In this lecture, we are going to learn to create a simple project using the Code Composer Studio and further we will learn the steps involved to create a new project and we will see how can we build the project and how can we debug the project for particular applications. So in this presentation, we are using the Texas instrument DSP processor that is TMS320F. 28335 and these steps you can follow for any kind of DSP processor okay so let's begin with the project so to create a new project we have to go to the file new and CCS project and here we can see the target target we have a 2833x Delphino and processor 28335 and the connection which I have used that is emulator version 3 Texas instrument XDS100 V3 USB debug probe that is given here and the project name we are using the LED underscore blinking and the compiler version it is uh, as it is and the finish Now you just click on uh, the main file or LED blinking and you just delete the program, existing program and I have already the program that I will copy from uh, my docu from my documents and the paste paste over here. Okay. So I have pasted the program here and I am using the pin number 12. 13, 14, and 15 uh, of the GPIO pins, uh, which already uh, talked about the previous lecture. You can follow the previous lecture for that. And how can we use the GPIO pin for the particular applications? So here we are using LED, inbuilt LED. So we have used the pin number 12, 13, 14, 15 uh, as an output pin. So we have initialized the direction of that bit, GPIO pin, GPIO 12, 13, the direction bit we have make it output bit you can see here these are the unwanted thing which I'm removing so this is the uh, delay loop and watchdog timer now uh, the few things we need to add in the project so to add the project we need to right click and we need to go to add files in the add files uh, we have to go to TI, Control Suite, Device Support, F2833X, version 133, Header Files, Includes, sorry, Source and Global Variable Definitions. This file we need to link to the project and two more files we need to link to this project that is Eight files again, same steps. Here you can see code start branch ASM. This is in common and sources file. So this is code start branch ASM. This file also we need to link to the project, and one more file we need to link to the project that is. Known by OS this file also we need to link and now we have to right click and we need to go to the properties in the properties section we need to go to the include options C2000 compiler include options and include option we need to add the files and we need to browse in the browser, the same location we have to go in C, TI, Control Suite, Develop Device Support, F2833X, version 133, and header file include. 
that file we need to include in the property editor and make it okay now your uh, project is ready to build and just click on the build shown here so build has been finished there is no error in the project and you have get the led blinking dot output files and the debug the project and now you can run the project using this uh, resume option and you can use that also when we have run you can see this is these are the LEDs over here and uh, these are following us some pattern so the speed is uh, approximate one second or two seconds something so now we can change the speed of um, speed of the loop so we can change the delay to blink the LED so how can we use we can uh, reduce the uh, delay loop length and now again we will build and debug the program and again we will run the program so now you can see the speed of the LED blinking is so fast. So if you like uh, my channel, please go and subscribe the channel and don't forget to share.